everyone, it's Kim. So I have a few soaps to cut. And so here is one of my buttercups. And I had to redo or make another one because the one I had originally posted, um, it, I was washing the dishes and all of a sudden I looked over, it was underneath the ceiling fan and underneath the, um, and in front of the box fan, the air conditioner on and everything. Um, and it just slid over from the top of it. Here I can show you some of the bars, so that way I cut them into samples. But see how it looks. So I just cut them into samples. See? When, you know, it should have been like that. So anyway, they're little samples. So this one, the color's a little bit different. But it's okay. The bottom, the bottom is still the same. So let me go ahead and cut the first piece. Just a little end piece, another little sample. just did like an in the pot swirl type of thing it's got that piece in the center but it's funny because the the night before I had to wait forever for it to um, set up so I could pipe it and then same exact recipe everything just it wanted to move fast on me so I don't know well anyway um, it worked out at least it was easier to pipe and um, I just took the extra that I had and made these little tartlets. I made just three of them just to try it out. But I have to I haven't even taken off the, the base of it yet, the thing. But anyway, I just thought I would try it and see what they look like because I'm not really that much of a... I mean, it was just for fun. And so anyway, yeah, these are the, the little buttercups. Oh, and I'll show you. I already had cut these last night. This is my Santa Baby Buttercup. Hopefully the top won't get too dark, because I use mostly peppermint in the top with just a little bit of pink sugar in it, but then the bottom I had um, more pink sugar in it, and plus I had put cocoa in it because I wanted it to hurry up and turn brown. I don't like to just wait for it to turn brown because I want to make sure that it, you know, has the right coloration when I... Um, you know, because sometimes you never can tell. Oh, that one looks neat on the inside. So anyway, yeah, these are my buttercups. So I'm going to finish that in a little bit. I've been dying to, um, to try doing this. So I made the other logs here. And this one, I didn't record a video for it because I've done it before, but I just did a different... Did different colors. Seems like I do it different every time. But it's the Candelaria soap. It's my signature scent. I've never done this top before. That like um, splattery looking. So I thought I wanted to try it. So let's see what it looks like. I'm putting it this way because I don't want this. There's sea salt on the top, and I don't want it to drag through the soap. Ooh, I love the colors. Let me come around so I can make sure it gets in this picture. And then that's the splatter on the top. I just wish I had a better camera. But, yeah. I love, love, love those colors. And that's my Candelaria scent. I was thinking about it all day that I couldn't wait to get home and 
cut these that one's different Do one more. Yep. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stop this one. And then this one is the Passion Tea scent. And it was inspired by some passion fruit tea that I got from a friend of mine online and um, as soon as I opened up the tea and sniffed it I was like oh I gotta try this now I used um, some of my the, my fragrance oil that I use in my vintage soap for that tea note but it also has um, guava and um, other kinds of fruity type of a scents and um, green tea and some jasmine I love this color. I love that color combination. My friend Linda, that's the colors of her business, is green and pink, so she might like this one. I think I have to save her a bar. I just kind of flopped it in there. I didn't feel like using the the hanger. I just wanted to, you know, see what would happen if I just dropped it in. So some of it, the part that's kind of like brownish yellowish, that's just the plain batter with the tea in it. And um, and then I did the green and the hot pink. Do one more. Yeah, there's nothing that it's just a few drops in there but I love the color okay so let me do the dark plum this is the dark plum Trying not to crush my rose petals. And I'm using, um, oh, now this reminds me of one of Celine's soaps. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's beautiful. I love it. I know I shouldn't carry on like that. But anyway, um, I've always wanted to do an orange and pink soap like this. I love it. And the stuff that's on top, that is Merlot sea salt. I had bought it when I was making my, um, you know, I'm still making my um, salt lick lollies. I just have never used the Merlot for anything. So it's like a deep, beautiful wine burgundy color. And so I thought that it would be pretty against those colors because it matched kind of the rose petals. I am thrilled with this one. I mean, I love them all. I'm just saying that. I really have wanted an orange and um, and pink soap. I love it. And I'm not really, you know, <laughs> that great with, you know, a bunch of bright colors, but these worked out really well. Thank you, Holly. Almost looks like a side profile of a dove or a bird. It's funny what we can pixelate. The other side of the bird. Okay. 
So, yeah, this was my end of my vacation soaping extravaganza. And so now I gotta um, order some more base oil so I have some um, more oils to work with to soap and um, just keep it going. Thanks for watching.